tomorrow we will put the mast down. I'm a bit concerned because of the wind. There is still a lot of wind and I don't know if we can do that tomorrow. I spent Christmas with my parents in Switzerland. I'm on the way to the airport, taking the flight back to the Canary Islands. I was on a mission, traveling back to my boat, preparing there everything to take down the mast. There was not only a huge storm here in Switzerland, it was also very windy on the Canary Islands. I was very concerned that it will not be possible to sail to the other marina and to take down the mast. I'm at the Euro airport in Basel. I have to catch the plane. It's quite stormy here outside. I hope this flight will be nice. Looks like there is some wind. That day there was a major storm in Switzerland and we had to wait more than half an hour before we could take off. As far as you probably noticed, we're going to take off. Can you just be sure that you are fast? Thank you. So I'm back in Las Palmas. Going to have a look for the boat. So I'm on the way to the rigger, have a chat with him, hopefully we can do it tomorrow. If there is too much wind it's just not possible to go outside and I have to change the marina tomorrow to, to go to a place where, they, where there is a crane to put the mast down. But I don't know if the wind is okay tomorrow. Perfect. I arrived by the boat. We let the boat alone for three weeks, but everything was fine. Sunrise here in Las Palmas. Everything is ready for uh, doing the operation. In two hours we are going to take down the mast. Nicole is still in Switzerland, she will join me in one week. So I have some work to do here alone. Okay, the engine finally started, took me quite some time, maybe I have to open it once and have a look on it, I think something is not good, but at least it works. Just arrived in the marina. Now we are waiting for the crane. Nearby was a Rapido trimaran who lost his mast. Our steel cables were for sure older than 20 years. For safety reasons we decided to change them. What do you think? Is it really necessary to change them if they are older than 10 years? Please write us a comment below.
Of course, uh, not everything worked out very easy, but it's in Spain normal like this. We had to wait, uh, I don't know, one or two hours for the crane. So we lost a lot of time, but at the end it came and we took the mast down. And then of course um, we went back to the marina and my place was occupied. So I couldn't go to the place I was before. Then the marinero gave me another place. In this video I will show you how to install a Power Survivor 40A water maker. I just got our water maker. It's a Power Survivor from uh, Katadin. Now let's check it out. First I have to prepare um, my water system in the boat. Um, I have uh, Salt water intake here. I will take the, the salt water for the water maker from this source here. So I need a second hose which is going to the other compartment here. The other question is what I'm going to do with the water uh, which was um, going to the water maker and has to go out to the ocean again. I think I have here a possibility to attach it to this hose that goes outside. This is now the full construction just to get the water back into the ocean. The salt water inlet here with the valve, that's how it looks when I work uh, here inside. Ah, oh, there's almost no space. Yes, it is done. Have a look on that. The electrical installation is pretty straightforward. I installed a switch here with a fuse included and um, I just have to connect everything. Good morning. Another day working on the water maker. I already installed the pump here. Over there is one filter case. Now I'm going to install the booster pump somewhere here. It will help to push the water through the two filter elements. I'm going to install two filters because um, we are planning to go into the rivers. I will install another filter element over here. That's the final installation of the water maker. I have here the switch for the production water. Then the fine uh, 5 micron filter here. The booster pump here. And on the other side is the pre-filter 30 microns. Now we'll go for a first test run and check if all the connections are, um, are good, if nothing is leaking. The water maker was running, but it produced only salt water. I really cannot believe this. It looks like there is no membrane installed or the membrane is already damaged. What comes next? I found some more work and my lovely girlfriend Nicole comes back to help me. <laughs> 